Welcome to Bella's Vistas. Thanks for visiting. Please like and subscribe. Click the little notification bell as well. Well, I'm on the road to Pooch Cove. I used to come out here when I lived in St. John's. I'd come out here all the time to photograph the fishing here. It was amazing the way things used to be. This depicts the way the dock used to be. See the stairs, the ladders going up? Here's a boat in front of a painting of the way it was. That's all gone now. We've got a cement dock. You've got a ramp to pull the boats up on. There's some of the fishing boats. Things have changed a lot. Everybody's still working the sea, though, going out fishing. The rocks haven't changed much. The sea is the same. Bow. Wow, the buildings have changed, though. This is where the fishermen pull their boats up. Back in the day, there was an old make-and-break engine in the shed there, and every time the engine fired, the shingles would jump up on the roof. Here's some seabirds waiting for a free meal. There I am making photographs. I love coming out here and getting my pictures. What a great time I'm having. I'm shooting some black and white film here with the twin lens Rolleiflex. We're going to process that film when I get back home and see what it looks like. It should look something like this. It's going to be black and white, but it'll be traditional gelatin prints. These are digital black and white prints, and I'm hoping that the black and white film is going to really show something different. Wow. <laughs> I'm sitting down here shooting a wide-angle shot of the boats. Should look something like that. We're having so much fun here. This is across the water with equivalent of a 300 millimeter lens. This is with the 300 as well, a tight shot on the bows of the boats. It's going to be a wonderful series of prints on this trip. I can't wait to start making prints. Again, there I am in front of the dock setting up my camera. It's pretty windy out there, let me tell you. You got to tie things down so they don't blow away and make sure your camera's not shaking if you're doing any long exposures. It's not all that easy. Fences, man, I love the fences on the rock. Unbelievable. And the gnarly roofs with this fungus or lichen or whatever it is growing there. Look how clear that water is. On the book cover I did for Spindrift, Oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't called Spindrift. Spindrift was the preliminary title. It was called Breakers. But on the cover of that, Clyde Rose was so impressed with the clarity of the water here, how you could see right down to the bottom. I love the windows. One thing you'll notice here is people sitting in their window looking outside. Because sometimes the weather's not all that great, but the view, the view is always fantastic. Here the boats are trying to get away coming up the shore. The fishermen pull their boats up there and then inside the shed they clean the fish and everything. So that's where they clean and fill up the fish. Same as it's been done for generations and generations. I guess since the beginning of time, as long as there were fishermen. Some nice boats here. Nice harbor. Lots of communities all around. And go out and have a drive, go for a drive, and you see the boats and the fences and boathouses. It's really beautiful. I mean, they take time to paint the boats brilliant colors, and sometimes even a white boat against the nice red sheds is beautiful. All the different color boats and boathouses, fantastic. I like black and white, but sometimes it almost seems sacrilegious to take these beautiful colored buildings and put them into black and white. Again, thanks for visiting Bella's Vistas. Please like and subscribe. Click the notification bell.